Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to play the new One Piece card game. If you guys like this content, think about hitting that subscription button, it really helps me out. I'll show you these shiny foil decks that I made to actually play the game instead of just on the computer. These are real cards that I made in my free time. There's a video on how to do it. Check it out. Let's run it! card this is the leader's power which is 5,000 here this is how many life the leader has which is five and then these are the skills leader so this leader once per turn you can take a rested dawn and add it to one of your character cards or one of your leader cards uh, once the leader's life are knocked off you have to deal one more damage to the leader and then you win the game this is a character card so this costs five dawn to play and if you have two dawn attached to him he'll have dawn x2 which means he'll get rush and he can actually he has rush so he'll, he has rush when he comes in and if he has dawn x2 when this card attacks your opponent cannot activate blocker against this card this is an event card event cards are activated during your counter step which is a defensive step after you declare blocker and they add power to one of your cards usually your character your character cards or leader cards so that you can block out of a hit this is a stage card. The stage card area is to the left of your leader and you'll see how these are played during the game. Each card has energy costs required to play the card. That's how many Dawn you have to exhaust and your leader card comes into play and he stays in play for the duration of the game. So in the One Piece card game, you have your area where you play cards, you have your leader area, you have the area for your stage card, you have the cost area, which is where your Dawn go, and you have your trash and your life. First thing we do is we each draw five cards off the top of our deck for our opening hand and if we choose to mulligan we send the entire hand back in the luffy deck you're really looking for nami and in the beast pirates deck you're really looking for onigashima so i didn't draw either of those and linda did not draw her onigashima so we're going to send our whole hand back and mulligan again and redraw five so once we shuffle we each get an, op an opportunity to cut our opponent's deck so we cut our opponent's deck and then we redraw our five cards Once we draw our hands, then we choose the number of life that's on our leader. Both of our leaders have five, and we put five life into our life area, which is next to the leader. Once the life have all been dealt, the one ha hit has to go through on the leader, and then the game is over. So we'll roll some dice to see who goes first. I roll the six, and Linda rolls a four. So I'll be going first. Since I'm going first, I just get one Dawn in my cost area, and then I can pay one Dawn to play a card and then I will pass turn since I can't attack. Now Linda will get two Dawn in her cost area. She'll draw a card for her turn, and then she can play cards with her active Dawn, or she can attach her active Dawn to her leader card and attack with her leader card. So she takes her two Dawn and puts them on her leader card, which increases her leader's power by 2,000 for her turn, and she's attacking my leader for 7,000, which means I would need to go to 8,000 to get out of this hit, which I can't do right now, so I will take the hit into my hand. And then she passes turn, and my turn starts. My refresh phase, my Dawn come back to active mode, I get two Dawn at the beginning of my turn, and I charge a card to start my turn. So for my turn, I can pay one Dawn to play one more Nami, and then I can pay two Dawn to play one Sanji. Nami and my leader both have a skill that allow me to add rested Dawn to my character cards or leader cards. So I'll add one Dawn off Nami to Sanji, and I'll add another Dawn off Nami to Sanji. Now Sanji is at 6,000, and since Sanji has Dawn times two Rush, since he has two Dawn on him now, he has Rush, which means he can attack this turn that he's played, and I'll attack Kaido for 6,000. So Linda will need 7,000 in order to combo out. We'll take that hit into her hand. Then I can use Luffy's skill to add one Rested Dawn to my leader, and attack Kaido for 6,000. So during her counter during her counter step, she can add 2,000 from two cards that each have 1,000 counter power to block that attack. And then I'll pass turn and Linda will start her turn. So for her refresh phase, all of her Dawn go back into her cost area. She gets two more Dawn from her deck in her cost area. And now she can use her energy to play a card. In Kaido, the best card to play once you have three energy is Onigashima. So she'll exhaust three of her Dawn to play Onigashima. Onigashima is her stage card, and once per turn, she can switch Onigashima to rest mode and add one Dawn 
from her Dawn deck into her cost area in rest mode. And now she can either keep that energy to defend or she can add it to her leader to have a bigger attack. But in this case, if she has a defensive counter card in her hand, it's probably better to keep that Dawn active so she can just attack with her leader card either at Sanji or at my leader to deal damage. So she is attacking at my leader. It's 5,000 to 5,000. I'll need 1,000 power to get out and I don't have it, so I will take that card into my hand. Now she passes her turn, my turn starts, my Dawn go back to my cost area, and I get two more Dawn in my cost area. So for my turn, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my event card, which costs me two Dawn, and the Thousand Sunny, once per turn, I can switch it to rest mode and add 1,000 power to one of my cards. I'm gonna pay one more Dawn to play Chopper, which is a blocker, and then I'm gonna use my Nami's effect to add 1000 to Sanji and I'm going to add my other Nami's effect to add another rested to go 2000 to Sanji and then I'm going to tap my 1000 Sunny to give Sanji an extra 1000. So Sanji is now at 7000 and I'll attack Kaido for 7000. Now during Linda's counter step she can pay one energy to use her event card Blast Breath. Blast Breath adds 4000 Borobris. Borobris adds 4,000 to Kaido, making Kaido 9,000, which blocks out of Sanji's attack. And now I will use my leader effect to add my one rested Dawn to my leader, and I will add one active Dawn to my leader to go to 7,000, and I will attack Kaido for 7,000. This one, she will take the hit into her hand, and I will pass turn to her. Remember that Dawn only give your cards power on your turn. Now these Dawn stay on these cards, but these cards do not have the power of the extra 1,000 on Linda's turn. So her Dawn refresh, she gets two Dawn in her cost area, draws a card, and everything untaps. And now she can tap Onigashima to add a rested Dawn into her cost area. She can pay four energy for Ulti. When she pays four energy for Ulti, Ulti has a Dawn minus one skill that allows her to take one of her Dawn in her in her cost area that's rested and put it back in her Dawn deck. When she does that, it allows her to play Ulti's brother, Page One. Page One comes out and both of those cards are played this turn so they cannot attack this turn. But she, then she can pay three more of her Dawn to play Drake, which will come out, he will be able to attack on the next turn. And then she can use uh, her leader to attack either at Sanji or at my leader. Attack Sanji, Sanji. it's 5,000 to 4,000. So I will counter with Brooks who gives plus 2,000 to put Sanji at 6,000. Now my turn begins. So all of my Dawn go back to my cost area. I get two Dawn from my Dawn deck in my cost area and I draw a card for my turn. So the first thing that I'll do is I will add I will add two Dawn to Sanji and I'll attack Kaido for 6,000. She'll need 2,000 to get out of the attack. Whoops. So she'll take that card into her hand and then I, I will add one to Luffy and I'll use 1,000 Sunny to make Luffy 7,000 and then I'll attack Kaido for 7,000. So she has nothing to counter so that hit will go into her hand as well. And then I will pay five Dawn for Mugiwara no Rufi. He is MVP. He has Rush and I can also, his attacks cannot be blocked when he has two Dawn on him. So I will use one from Nami and one from the other Nami to add two Dawn to Luffy and attack Kaido for 8,000. That hit will go into her hand. I will need to deal one more damage in order to win the game, which I cannot do here. So I will pass turn from here. So all of her Dawn go back in her cost area. She gets two more Dawn from her Dawn deck. And now she can play cards. So on this turn, everything untaps. Linda can tap Onigashima and send her energy from her Dawn deck into her cost area in rest mode. She can tap nine Dawn to play Kaido. And when Kaido comes in, he has a Dawn minus five, which means she can take five Dawn from her cost area, put them back to her Dawn deck area, and choose one of my cards and KO it, if it has a cost of six or lower. So she'll choose my Luffy and KO Luffy, which he'll send him to the trash, and these two Dawn go back to my cost area. And now Kaido has Rush, which means he can attack this turn as well. So nice. first she'll attack with Kaido, with her leader. And that attack, I will block. Next attack, she'll attack with page one, and page one is 6,000, and I cannot block that, so I will take that attack into my hand. And then she'll attack 
Ulti. Ulti is 5,000. My Luffy is 5,000. So I will use 1,000 to combo out of Ulti's hit. And then she can attack with Drake. Drake is 5,000. I have no counters, so that damage goes into my hand. And she can attack with Kaido. Kaido is 10,000, and that will deal that damage into my hand. She doesn't have any attacks left, and this is my chance to go in with Mugiwara no Luffy. My costs go back to my cost area. I get two more Dawn from my Dawn deck into my cost area. Everything comes back to active mode. I draw a card for my turn. So at this point, I just need this hit to go through, so I should attack as big as I possibly can since she doesn't have any counters. So I'm gonna put all of my Dawn onto Luffy. Put all my Dawn onto Luffy, awaken Luffy into his alternate art form, tap the Thousand Sunny to make Luffy 16,000, and attack Kaido for 16,000. No she doesn't have enough to combo out, so that is the game. GG. This is how you play the One Piece card game. This is Mugiwara no Luffy. This is his alternate art. This is his regular art, of course. Thanks for watching this tutorial. This One Piece card game is super duper fun. I hope you guys enjoy playing it and make your own decks. You can check out my uh, video on how to make custom Dome cards so you can make your own pirated cards for a pirate game. Thank you so much. GG. GG. I'm a dentist. I can without giving a dental tooth tip. So if you guys have this power brush, look, check this out. There's a little light down here and it tells you when the head needs to be replaced. And that light is bl blinking. I hope you enjoyed learning how to play the one piece card games. Thank you so, thank you so much. Thank you. So it's my birthday soon. So my birthday video is going to be really good. I think. This is the birthday shrimp in one piece and I am so psyched to check it out. Wow, ah, what is up Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today it's my birthday. Yeah. It is my birthday. My 31st birthday a box from Japan. One Piece formation cards, the elusive, the ultra extremely one piece is own 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 game from like wow. the shrimp on the internet to find these, but I I got a booster box for myself for my birthday. I'm very excited to see what these cards look like. So you obviously super super hyped. For We couldn't ask for more. In this economy, keeping the crew alive. Luffy, Luffy. this is tough. The Soul King.